guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the DC Multiverse Killer Croc Collecting Connect Wave Red Robin. Tim Drake Robin, really, but, you know, Tim Drake isn't my favorite Robin. Uh, my favorite is Dick Grayson. Um, just me personally. I don't know, maybe I just like Nightwing, and if I had to choose a Robin, probably Damien, but anyways, that's just me. Uh, yeah, so I'm pretty excited because this is the final piece I need for... The Killer Croc, Collect and Connect, and I, I like Robin. I, 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 I'll, I'll take Robins every day, all day, you know? So, uh, anyways, let's take a look at the packaging. You can see Robin right there. He does have the 80 years of Batman on top there. I love that logo. Um, I may actually, you know what? I may actually cut those out and like just have a little pile of them. You can see Robin right there looking pretty cool. I love the, you know, I'm sorry, but I love that picture there. I just wish, you know, it was it showed the whole thing, but no, I just, I think that's so Robin. Anyways, there's the read it. I'm going to read it. Pause it now. There's all the other figures in this wave I did review. Uh, so I reviewed KGB and Katana together, and I reviewed the Dick Grayson, Batman, and Alfred together. I reviewed the um, R Red Robin with the Red Robin, Red Robin, Red Hood with the Red Hood from... DC Essentials, so it was a versus video, but next up, woo, yes, anyways, uh, that's about it for the packaging, there's DC on the top, nothing on the bottom, I guarantee you, anyways, let's get this guy opened up and see how cool he really is, alright, we got Tim out of the packaging, and I gotta say, I really like this figure, this is a very fun figure, uh, this is probably the most fun figure in this whole wave, which is kind of surprising, because... You never think Robin's going to be the, one of the best figures in a wave. you think it'd be Batman, but, eh, no. Uh, it does come with uh, some accessories, and uh, not including the Build-A-Figure piece. It comes with two pairs of hands, one of them being uh, a pair of fisted hands. So let's focus on my thumb. Let's focus on my thumb. There we go. You can see the knuckles are painted and everything. This olive green. Oh, shit. My bad. My bad. Anyways, there we go. But uh, you get you get the uh, stick staff holding hand, so that's cool too. I am too cluttered in here. That's because I took a lot of figures off the shelf, so that's why. But move some stuff around, moving some stuff around. Put my phone here. All right, here we go. This is better. All right. Uh, the staff he comes with is very simple. It's not painted or anything, but get this to focus. You can see it does have grips, so that's that's pretty nice because you can hold it very good. So, yeah, that's about it for accessories. Let's take a look at the head sculpt, which I really like. I like that haircut he has. I wish I had that kind of haircut right now, but no, because it's because it's closed. Uh, but yeah, looks good though. Nice blue wash in there. Kind of hard to tell, but there we go. Nice sculpt. I like the mask, nice, nicely painted on there, no slopping or anything. You can see the uh, red, the Robin logo, but you can obviously see the double R, red Robin. Yum. But uh, yeah, you get some paint on the sides, nice, nice red plastic there. I love the olive green color on his arms. Looks very good. You look at this and you instantly think Robin. I think it's because of the cape, um, the cape and the red and the green. It's it's a great, great looking figure, too. I really do like it. You get some more green down there. You get the utility belt, which has a very nice sculpt. I like that bright color. You get the yellow cape. And there's the cape from behind. Looks pretty good. Those yellow spots right there. But there's the back of the figure. Pretty fine, I guess. I don't know. Some, no paint apps back there. But, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, you can't get the arms to bend. Oh, there we go. So you can get that classic, you know, Robin pose. Anyways, the uh, head will look side to side. Oh, I like that trim right there. Nice. You can get the head looking side to side like so. He'll look up a little bit, down a little bit. His arms will move out like so. Pretty good. You can get him to do a full 360, but the, the cape's in the way, obviously. But, yeah, here we go. There we go. And there's a swivel, double-jointed elbows, and you can get a very nice double joint. I'm sorry my tripod sucks. Swivel at the hand and hinge. There is an ab crunch that goes that far forward, that far back. Very nice ab crunch. 
the waist can there's a waist swivel there. You can get the hip joints moving out like so. That's great. Kicking forward that far. That's okay. I mean, but the belt's kind of blocking, so it's not that bad. But you can go back a little bit. Thigh cut, double joint knees, no boot rotation or anything, and the feet will hinge, and no pivot, which kind of sucks, but it's fine. Great. Great, great, great articulation on this guy. I mean, really, like, normally they don't have such good articulation. But, uh, Mattel really knocked it out of the park with this one. So I'm going to compare him to some of his, uh, weight... Oh, shit. I'm going to compare him to, uh, to some of his wave mates. Wish I could get in the stand. There we go. He's a little hunched forward a little bit, but that's the best I can do. Alright, there we go. Alright. Here are some of his wave mates. Yeah, let's just do them all. Here we have him next to Red Hood. I was about to say Red Robin. And here he is next to Katana. If I can stand up, please. Jesus Christ. There we go. And then next up we have Alfred. See that height that height difference is pretty nice. I like that, but And then here is Red Robin next to Dick Grayson Batman. That's a decent height, um, but it's not great. And then taking Batman out. Oh, wait, no, fuck. I mean, I was going to show another figure, but I, I, I forgot about KG Beast. And so here he is next to KG Beast. There we go. I don't know KG Beast, so I'm not sure if that height difference is good, but... Let's get Alfred out of here. And then two random comparisons. Not random, but... Here's the GC Reaper. Batman is not tall enough, but... When I do put him up on display... I am going to use one of these WWE bases to give him some height. That, that looks a lot better. Whew. Yeah, that looks a lot better. So, unfortunately, he's just not tall. Anyways, there's uh, Duke Thomas. Why not? It's another Robin, so, you know, what? why not? But, uh, yeah, there you go. And now some of the DCUC Robins. So here we have the Dick Grayson Robin. I think it's Dick Grayson. I don't know. I was considering Jason Todd for a long time because of the uh, animated movie Batman Under the Red Hood. He was wearing this costume. But, yeah, uh, that's not actually what he was wearing in the comics. But, uh, yeah. The very back heavy fucking cape, you know, Robin. And it sucks because he had double jointed elbows, double jointed knees. Yeah, I don't know. It was a. Just opportunity there. Uh, and then here he is. So I do believe this is a Tim Drake Robin, but I, I use him as my stand-in for my uh, for Damian Wayne. Even though that's not what he wears, but I don't care. It's my collection. Just until I can get my hands on a Damian Wayne figure. Either the, the DC Signature Collection one or the DC Multiverse. I'm going to obviously try to get both, but whatever comes first, it's going to be the first one there. Here's the... Red Robin I grew up with, uh, that, I mean, not grew up with, but the, the one I grew up thinking he looked like, you know, very different, kind of like Batman a little bit. I, I love this look, though, I, this is definitely my favorite look out of the three of these for Tim Drake, but, um, yeah, I don't know, it was, it was cool to have, um, but, uh, yeah, there you go, and, uh, that's all the comparisons for today, yeah, very Robin heavy, but, uh, I just love I, you know, I gotta give him a staff, but I, I don't know. I, I don't think I should be just because I was gonna give him the Deathstroke staff, but there's barely any room on my shelf. If you see my vlog, you would know. So, anyways, subscribe to see the Killer Croc review tomorrow or the next video, um, depending on when you watch this. But, uh, yeah, man, I'm very excited because I, I love Killer Croc. I think he's very cool looking and I, he's a great character. Uh, Definitely, it's not like Joker level, but I mean, you know what I mean. Like, he's fucking awesome. Um, and the, the Collecting Connect is fucking badass, so 
Uh, just subscribe to see uh, that review tomorrow. I got some pretty nice comparisons coming up for that as well. And uh, yeah, just subscribe in general. Uh, if you're, especially if you're a fan of DC, I got a lot of DC stuff to be reviewing. And since we are on a lockdown, I got the time. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thanks for watching. I messed up the outro. Whatever. Bye. Like, comment, and subscribe, please. Thanks.